Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I cannot believe I'm saying these words, but I am pregnant, as you guys know, and it has just been the craziest, most epic, amazing journey so far, and I have so much I wanna to talk to you guys about, so I, did, I don't even know where to begin. <sighs> we did the embryo transfer, and it was successful. If you haven't seen those videos, what are you doing? Go watch those. I'm currently seven weeks and one day at the time of filming this video, so it's still very, very early, but I just could not wait to share the news with you guys. At the time that I'm releasing the news, I think it'll be eight or nine weeks, but at the moment, right now I'm seven and, oh, I'm so out of breath. At the moment right now, I'm seven weeks, one day. We just had our first ultrasound two days ago, and this is the little bean, our little baby. It's so small. Right now it's the size of a piece of popcorn, which to me is actually pretty big considering where we started. This is where we started. This is a picture of our embryo in the laboratory. So this was not even inside of me. This is microscopic. And now we're this big like that to me is absolutely crazy. Such an accomplishment. I have been feeling all the feelings and symptoms. I wanna talk all about that in a little bit. I just wanted to say hello, welcome back. I feel so good vlogging again. I was trying for a while to vlog about other things like the puppy prep and everything else that was going on in my life, but it just got really, really hard to not talk about this most important, most amazing thing. So I'm so glad to share the news with you guys, even if it's earlier than most people would. Where do I even begin? I don't even know. I'm looking for my diet coke you guys my stomach has not been feeling great i haven't been nauseous to the point of wanting to throw up but it's just like this terrible terrible queasy feeling that doesn't go away and gets worse at times throughout the day and soda really helps so i have diet and caffeine free diet coke and then at nighttime i'll drink a poppy or something because i try Try not to drink a Coke every day, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support that I already know you've poured out on those videos that I uploaded. I haven't even uploaded them at this point in time, but I already know you guys are just going to be so amazing and so loving. So I just want to say thank you in advance. You guys have been with us throughout this entire journey from the moment I got off the pill to two years later being pregnant today. I'm just so grateful and I just, words escape me. AJ and I are still kind of in shock a little bit. We haven't fully, fully grasped the idea that we're gonna have a baby in seven months I think because it's a little bit early we're still kind of you know cautiously optimistic but we're still aware that you know something could happen so I think we're kind of guarding our hearts a little bit more especially going through IVF you kind of learn to guard your heart a little bit that being said the ultrasound was just amazing when we heard the heartbeat I'll insert that footage right now but when we heard the heartbeat we teared up a little bit and it was just the best moment ever. So please enjoy our first ultrasound footage, which was two days ago. I was six weeks and six days. <laughs> We're here for our six week six day ultrasound so basically seven weeks and we're gonna see if baby has a heartbeat and if it's growing properly if it's in the right spot what do they have oh wait it's in the vagina <laughs> yes oh my god that's why i have to take my clothes off i thought it was over the belly <laughs> i mean i saw this thing you're so crazy we're so nervous. Are you nervous? Freaking nervous. He's been pacing around the room. Based on our own research, we get past this and the chances of a successful pregnancy like birth is very high. Yeah. Chances of miscarriage drops dramatically. Freaking pop a lot, see dude. Is it supposed to be a certain uh, one teens, one twenties is appropriate in the six weeks. It'll start to go up. Over the next couple weeks it gets a little bit higher and then at some point it kind of plateaus and then it'll start going down just a little bit. It 
it has been a, a week or so since I filmed that intro clip and things have taken a turn for the worse. <laughs> I am so sick and like I said, I'm not someone who throws up so I'm just like nauseous constantly and it's been such a struggle. I had no idea it was going to be this hard. I've heard of people having tough first trimesters but I never, I never like fully thought about it and like wow, this is terrible. So I messaged my nurse and she told me to take a Unisom pill at night which is technically a sleeping pill and vitamin b6 together at night and that combination helps nausea and it's been helping a little bit but it's not like consistent enough because sometimes i'll just still feel crappy and then it wears off around 4 or 5 p.m since i take it the night before she said i could take it during the day too i tried that on sunday and i took a dose at lunchtime and it knocked me out because it's literally a sleeping pill and then i just felt terrible when i woke up so i'm not doing that again um yeah it's been really really tough and so basically just feeling sick and queasy like nothing sounds good and then when I do eat it takes me like 30 to 45 minutes to digest the food and that digestion process sucks so bad I need to like lay down it just feels gross and like it's terrible it's basically like having food poisoning for a long time without actually throwing up and then besides that the only other thing that i'm experiencing is extreme fatigue it's the kind of tired that you like feel it in your bones like i it's lunch it's, two, it's one can i speak it's 1 37 i went home for lunch at 12 from work luckily we don't have patients until two today because it was our surgery day so i was able to eat lay down after i eat and now I'm on my way back to work. I got a coffee. I'm trying to only drink one coffee a day, but I just really, really needed this today. And it's still under the 200 milligram per day limit, so I'm fine. I also got a donut, because that sounds good. The thing is, things will sound good and yummy, and then once I eat it, it like just ruins my stomach. So that's what's going on. Not super fun. It's all worth it though. I'm so grateful. I feel like I have to say that, but wow, does this suck? If you have a good first trimester, count your blessings because that is amazing. I remember the first week, like when I was five weeks pregnant, I was like, I have no symptoms. I wish I had some symptoms because that would make me feel better. No, no, take away these symptoms. I feel so bad for AJ. He's been doing everything, cooking everything around the house. The one thing I'm excited about for pregnancy is the hair growth that comes with it. Not so much the postpartum hair loss. I'm not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to growing my hair as much as possible. I have been on a hair health journey for the past couple of years, and I do want to thank Way for working with me in today's video. They are the most amazing hair care brand ever. Once you go Way, you never go back. And they just launched their new anti-frizz cream. You guys, this smells like heaven. When I first used this, I was in shock at how good it smells. It comes in this cute little bottle. So it protects against frizz up to 72 hours. It's also a heat protectant. So how I use it is I wash my hair. I pump one pump, just, a, just one pump goes a long way. And I work it through like from here down. And then I either blow dry it or let it air dry and then straighten it. And I just find that my hair comes out so silky and so smooth, especially in Florida with the humidity right now. Summer is approaching and I need all the help I can get. So I've been loving the anti-frizz cream, especially now that I'm pregnant and I can barely function I don't need to be wasting time dealing with frizz with breakage and heat protection is so important to me Especially since I do my highlights and especially towards the ends of my hair I want to minimize as much breakage and stuff as I can since I do heat style and straighten curl my hair I Crimp my hair almost every single time I wash it So that is super super important to me and all of their stuff is amazing You guys know I love their detox shampoo. This gets rid of all the gunk and buildup in your hair. Their hair gloss is amazing. I also use their leave-in conditioner spray every single time I wash my hair. So once again, the absolute best hair care brand. I love them so much. They are a company near, near, near and dear to my heart. And I've noticed just fuller, thicker, luscious hair. My hair has grown so much. When I started my TTC journey, I chopped off my hair and now it is like so long and I've been getting regular haircuts too. And I just love the way that way makes my hair feel so frizz free up your schedule with way go to t-h-e-o-u-a-i.com slash rachel vin for 15 percent off any product that's t-h-e-o-u-a-i.com slash rachel vin <coughs> good morning i'm currently eight weeks six days i'll be nine weeks tomorrow and i've been feeling a little bit better and i'm so 
grateful I don't want to jinx it but either the medication is finally kicking in or maybe I'm just getting used to feeling like this but for the past few days I felt pretty pretty good I'm still super tired and at night mainly the nausea hits me last night i had aj go grab me a double cheeseburger with fries at like 8 30. i had already e eaten dinner but lately i've been waking up in the middle of the night starving and i've been having to pee like five to six times a night when i keep waking up i'm gonna realize that i'm hungry so i try to eat a lot before bed but every time i go to the bathroom at night like i have to pee a lot like it's not just a little bit and it's really really annoying it's interrupting my sleep but yeah i just wanted to say that i'm feeling a little bit better and i have hope for the future something else that's helped is eating first thing in the morning um it's kind of weird because i can tell if i'm gonna have a good day or a bad day based on the feeling i get as soon as i wake up when i'm still in bed if my stomach starts like getting into a knot right away i know i have to eat right away and it's going to be a tougher day as opposed to just waking up and feeling pretty normal which i felt the past few days so but i've also switched from the diet cokes to Lacroix. this is a healthier option it's just uh sparkling water and that's been good i've been eating lots of lots of carbs aj made chicken parmesan last night and it was great but the chicken, like I just don't really feel like eating meat right now unless it's like McDonald's or Taco Bell, which is so bad. But I think I have a little bit of a meat aversion, which is not good for my protein goal. And honestly, I'm okay with that as long as, you know, I get through this period but I'm about to go to work. I also just scheduled my first OBGYN appointment, which is super exciting. So my fertility clinic is kind of offloading me to a regular OB. So that appointment is next Wednesday. I'll be 10 weeks and we're gonna do an ultrasound as well as the NIPT blood test to check for um, genetic abnormalities, confirm the gender and everything like that. So that's exciting. I also have my next intralipid on Thursday. All right, it's after work and I wanna show you my belly. There's nothing really to show, but I've been so bloated. It's not even funny. I can feel the air in my belly. It's so uncomfortable. So just for the record, this is what we're looking like. Basically nine weeks. I'll be nine weeks tomorrow. Not really a bump, just like regular, regular bloat. How fun. I gained two pounds so far. So that is where we're at. It's the same night I'm eating dinner now. I have leftover pasta from work, including fettuccine alfredo. And before pregnancy, this would slap. Like this would satisfy me. It would be an amazing dinner. But the thing is now I can only eat a small amount at a time. So I already had a serving, a small serving at five and it's seven now. And lately I've been doing like two dinners because I can't eat a lot at once and nothing really sounds good like this. I'm eating this because I have to, because I'm hungry, but like, this is making me sick and I'm gonna be hungry later because I can only eat a little bit of this. So it's just hard. I'm sorry that this is annoying, but like this is just what I'm going through. I feel like that's all I've been talking about, but I feel like that's what a first trimester vlog is about. So as soon as I come home from work, I sit on the couch, scroll through my phone a little bit, relax. Then I take a shower, eat something, go back on the couch, watch TV, drink my LaCroix or whatever drink I'm drinking. And I've been doing nothing, absolutely nothing. AJ's been doing everything, the cooking, the cleaning, and that's been amazing. So grateful for that. Yeah, so haven't been working out after work at all and just trying to just trying to get through it. It's just such a weird feeling and it's hard to describe. Like meat is disgusting to me, but I need the protein. The only things I can really scarf down are like fast food, like McDonald's, Taco Bell. Oh my gosh, Taco Bell has been my go-to. Chicken quesadilla, no spicy sauce inside, just like tortilla, cheese, and chicken. That's been a go-to. The grilled, the steak grilled cheese burrito is also really good. It's a little bit more heavy, but that also slaps. Also, these fruit containers are coming in clutch, just like a bunch of watermelon and pineapple are good fillers for when I'm like hungry, but it's not mealtime yet. Okay, I turned the camera back on because I had a, I have a thought. And my thought is that the people who vlog throughout their first trimester and post as if they're not pregnant, like who keep it a secret up until like 12, 13 weeks and are able to vlog like Michelle Reed, she is like a hero. I do not know how people do it. And I know she had sickness as well. And there's so many people who are able to do it. And I just, I just cannot like... I I cannot. <laughs> it's been so nice having a break. So thank you guys for your patience with the videos. But I just, first of all, I can't imagine, I can't even 
not talk about it like i can't vlog about something else and not tell you guys about the biggest thing that's going on right now and then second of all i can't like muster up the energy to pretend that i'm not sick or whatever so the people who can do that are literal heroes and i don't even have it the worst like i'm not even throwing up i can still go to work i'm still able to function so like i know i don't have it that bad and people have it worse i just i can't So yeah, this has been my spot on the couch. I took AJ's side of the couch. Normally I would sit there, but lately I've been sitting here. <laughs> I have my LaCroix, the remote, seven o'clock. I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna be hungry in like an hour and a half. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about that because I finished all of the meatballs. It's a daily dilemma. Most people are like, yeah, I lost like five pounds in the first trimester. I'm like, not me, girl. Not me. I eat every two hours and I am hungry. Like my appetite has been full force. So I need to actually be careful because I've been just eating carbs and junk. So I don't want to be like unhealthy either. Lately, we've been watching Night Agent and I think our last episode is tonight and I'm really sad because it's been so good. So if you guys have shows, let me know. Hold on. Whenever we turn on our Samsung smart TV, it's just the Degrassi channel and it plays Degrassi 24 seven. It's actually really calming uh, compared to other stuff we've had that like channels. Anyways, we finally purchased a Netflix account cause we were tired of getting kicked out of my mom's. So if you have any recommendations on Netflix, I think we also have Hulu and Amazon Prime and HBO through AJ's family. So comment your favorite shows and what platform they're on because your girl needs entertainment. Last thing I wanna say before I forget is that I posted that I was pregnant on Instagram uh, a couple days ago this past weekend, and I had a full-blown panic attack afterwards, like right after I hit post, and I started getting comments and feedback. I think it just started hitting me that this is real and that this is happening, that I'm actually pregnant, baby's actually in there, and it's actually real because it didn't feel as real when other people weren't perceiving it, if that makes sense. Um, especially you guys, such a huge part of my life. And I feel like if it's if it's not on the vlog, if it's not on social media, it, it didn't happen. So like that just really, really hit me. I had a full-blown panic attack, crying, couldn't breathe. AJ was there with me. Yeah, it was just a crazy moment. So I just wanted to share that. I did not expect to feel all these emotions during this process. I've been pretty cool, calm, and collected in terms of being anxious about baby's health. Like I, the first couple of weeks of like beta testing and ultrasounds, those I was a little bit anxious for, but now I, I don't know if it's cause I'm feeling sick. I kind of am reassured that, you know, baby's still in there and whatnot, but I haven't been anxious about it at all. Like I booked my next scan for like next week. I, I was like not in a rush about it. Cause you know, I could have pushed for this week. I could have gone to like a self pay center and like paid for it myself, but I just don't feel the need to do that. And I'm super grateful that I've been like not anxious about that because i'm sure that just adds so much to an already hard first trimester so yeah just wanted to share those couple of thoughts but i'll shut up for today at least i just got back from the gym i did legs and i swear it takes all of my energy but i feel really really good about going to the gym whenever i can so I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. My next video is gonna be a Q&A, just kind of catching up. I asked you guys on my Instagram if you had any questions about IVF, pregnancy, transfer, life, lots of updates to come. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see that video and follow me on Instagram to stay in the no, stay in the noop, stay in the, stay in the know, stay in the loop, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.